right, so I'm a little bit behind on this, but uh, Studio One 6.1 was released last week, and I'm going to be doing an install update on both the PC and the Mac. Should be pretty simple. There are a lot of good videos out there already. I'm going to see if I can add to them. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to go to the classroom, and you can see here that most people are going to see this. Every once in a while, this uh, little green button doesn't show up, and the way to get to that is to go to the Help menu and actually click on Check for Updates. And when you do that, it'll open up a dialog, and then it will open up this green button. So that should be pretty simple. So let's go ahead and click on this, and it's going to download the file. Shouldn't take long. And uh, then when this is uh, finished, I am going to uh, do the PC part. All right, so once you actually get the download done, it is really simple. Now you have the option. If you have another version of Studio One, or if you want to keep the version of Studio One 6 uh, that you already have, just in case you find a bug or something, you can do this. I'm going to go ahead and move this to the Applications folder, and then it's going to bring up a dialog. Do I want to keep both or replace the latest one? I'm going to say keep both, just like that. And there it goes. And now that is there. So now the easiest thing to do from this point, and you can see you have this here. If you're on a Mac, you can right-click, and you can say Eject. And then it's done. So now let's go to the, let's find the applications folder. And we're going to look for Studio 1.6. There we go. There it is, Studio 1.6.1. So what we're going to do, uh, let's see, uh, these, ignore these. These were the, the uh, beta versions that I was testing first. But this is Studio 6.1. So I'm just going to click on this and double click. And we're going to check it. There we go. There it is right there. And let's see. Do you want the application, the plugin scanner? Yes, we want to allow. It's going to go through its thing, and you can see down here 6.1.0. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this icon, right click, and I'm going to, I'm going to say remove from dock. Now I'm going to take this icon, right click, and I'm going to say keep and dock. Now I should be able to move this over here. There we go. All right, so we know that we got the right version. You can see here that it updated not only all of my plugins and sound sets, but it also updated the recent files. So everything is working as it should, just like that. Super simple. And uh, this way, if I want, I can go back to the uh, version 6. Uh, what is that? 6.0 point something. And I can open up that if I find opening up 6.1 has some issues that I don't remember. And I can compare the two and then report back to Personas if need be. Now, I've been through all the testing and everything. And so far, so far, 6.1 is running just fine on this computer and on my PC. So I'm actually good with that. All right, so now let's take a look at how easy it is to do this on a PC. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to install the update for Studio One 6.1 here on the PC. You can see I've got the little Update Now button right here. I'm going to click on this, and it's going to download. It should only take a few seconds to actually download completely. And there you go. And we're going to say yes. And we're going to go through the install. All right, so we're just going to click next. And we also obviously want to agree to all of this. All right, so here's the important part. You can see that um, on this computer here, I've already got a version of Studio One 6. So what I want to do is I want to browse. And I'm going to go down to the Personas folder. And you can see I've got all these different versions of Studio One here. So what I want to do is I want to make a new folder and call it Studio One 6.1. And there. 
we're going to go ahead and choose that folder, click OK, and hit Install. Now, one of the things I could have done is I could have gone ahead and deleted the old Studio 1.6 icon. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new shortcut from the folder I just created. And there we go. We're going to click Finish. So now I don't want to use the icon here because that's going to open up the older version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to the File Manager. And I am going to go to this PC, C Drive, Program Files, Personas, and there we go, Personas 6.1. So now what I want to do is get the executable. I'm going to right click and I'm going to drag it out here. I'm going to say create shortcuts and I'm going to rename this Studio 161. Here we go. All set. So now if I double click, it is going to open this newer update of Studio 1. Let's see if it finds all my songs and sound sets. And it looks like it did. Excellent. So let's see. Thank you for helping us improve Studio One by sharing anonymous usage data with Personas. You can help make better decisions on new features and workflow improvements. So let's go ahead and say yes. Share anonymously. And it sees all of my songs just the way I'd hoped. All right. So that is installing the latest update to Studio One in its own folder so that you can keep the older version. Just in case you see a problem, you can close it. Don't save the song that you're in and go back to the older version and see if you still have the same problem. All right, and there is a full set of directions for both the PC and the Mac. And if you could, I would really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe uh, to this video and to the channel and uh, help support Home Studio Trainer's new endeavor with a new site. Uh, go ahead and uh, you can give uh, to uh, HST. You can do the Buy Me a Coffee. You can become a Patreon member. All of that stuff is in the description. And I will see you all in the next video.